we had an article coming out from the hedge and i've seen this in the stock market and it was obvious um with the rise in many of the homes due to low interest rates and the government is basically giving people access to funds that they wouldn't normally have at a rate that is so low it's almost near zero and so you have people who have at the very least good credit who are able to act <clears throat> who are able to access homes which makes it harder harder excuse me makes it harder for the average american to go out and purchase a home because now these housing prices stay up and so everybody is like oh well, you know when's the market when's the housing market going to crash when is this going to crash and i keep hearing yeah, you know, I keep hearing this as an investor. And typically the market doesn't advertise when it's going to crash. You know, you might get the talking heads talking about, oh yeah, the market's going to crash, but and then you see the market trade higher. And there's been quite a few people saying the market is going to that the market is going to crash, the housing market is going to crash is unsustainable. But in my in my opinion, if the narrative of that you will own nothing and be happy then i don't see it i mean i don't see it coming down i see it continuing to move higher and so as a result of that housing prices have moved have moved higher and typically when prices move higher they don't come down right a good example is like gas prices the gas prices never really came as far down as they were and i, rem I remember that way back when i was like 20 like 22 when I was when I was day trading for a living and I remember there like I saw them when I was that young I saw the manipulation in the market where they would be like oh we're, we're gonna get this cold winter we're gonna get this cold winter and so as a result uh, they were like the price of oil is going up because the demand is gonna be there and then that and the market would go up and the price of gas will go up and the price of oil would go up and then we would never get the cold winter that they referred to but the price of oil and the price of gas never came down and then they would be like, well, why is, you know, and then once winter went, then they would be like, oh, look, it's, oh, it's going to be a hot winter. Everybody's going to be using their air conditioning. People are going to be driving. And so gas prices would have to go up because demand would be there. Prices would never come down. And it's going to be very similar uh, with food. Like I've said previously, and I've invested this way, I've bought heavily into food stocks. Like, for example, Tyson, because they talk about food, uh, chicken shortages going on. Um, wheat and grain there's been reports of what is it the cicadoes there's going to be like trillions of cicadoes that are going to be released which is going to have an impact on food we already had that in uh, what's it called uh, australia with the mice i showed that in one of my videos last time and then there were with the set with the the locusts that were coming out of saudi arabia so we're getting all of these biblical proportion sort of plagues that are coming in right First, you've got the pandemic, then you've got the plague of locusts, then you've got the plague of mice. Then you've got, literally, as Jesus spoke about in Matthew 24, in one place after another, we're seeing the rise of people against people. You're seeing uh, the people on the left fighting the people on the right, in essence. And I'm not talking about just here in America. I talked about um, in Colombia, where they, uh, there's just crazy what's going on in Colombia uh, right now. And I think the reports so far is 31 dead, killed by the killed by their government. And so all of this is happening, you know, all at the same time. While at the same time, now of course we're talking about rising prices and many Americans who are getting more money off of unemployment than they are off of just going out and getting you know whatever job that is that they're skilled enough to get. It was a McDonald's. That was offering people to come in they were like we'll give you 50 bucks if we just sit for the interview i think this was i forget where this was i think i'm not sure if it was in florida but they were offering you know 50 dollars. they were like just come for the interview we'll pay you to come for the interview and so what happens is is you have less people producing stuff right and so when you have the government just basically giving people money yeah and joe biden already said this uh last week um i think it was on thursday or friday where he said you know the job numbers that came out on Friday, on Thursday were terrible. The government was expecting a million jobs, a million jobs created. Some people were even estimating that there were going to be two million jobs that were created because they were like, because you know the government keeps saying this is a 
amazing you know the, the, the boom we're coming back strong and then the house and then the market the numbers came out uh and the number was like less than two hundred and fifty thousand jobs were created and that should have been devastating to the market and instead the market rose like 300 points that day and so it goes to show you that even from the investor standpoint the the investor when they start hearing of we're gonna we're gonna get back to work and the concept of the company you know of companies coming back and opening up for the investors they're like boo and they sell the market off right and it's because then the government isn't going to print more money which gives the wealthy access to more uh to more assets like for example land like buying land land is an asset the money that they give you is useless if you can't buy anything with it or if prices go so high that it just becomes worthless so you hear you have bank of america predicting uh us is facing a period of transitory and, they t and you see people like janet yellen and uh what's his name uh powell always making this comment oh yeah we're experiencing inflation but it's transitory and and no one asks like the, the quest the next question if you hear someone make that statement what is transitory to what right what are we transitioning from that's the that's the purpose of being transitory is that you're transitioning from one thing to the next and so the question should have been well what are we transitioning to that will lower uh that will lower inflation all right especially because they printed all this money so bank of america says a result of a soaring commodity prices in every this is in everything from metals to food which is true you've seen let's go over here you can see the metals and this is like i've this is what i've this is basically what i've invested in because i knew this was going to happen so i put in money into stocks like oil stocks right and so you can see that i bought exxon mobil down here at 34 and i'm still holding it I almost doubled what i what i had put in very similarly with um with food stocks you look at for example general mills general mills has been on the rise slightly um what's it called coca-cola has been moving higher uh kellogg's right these make make like your cereals your your wheats um what is it Heinz, craft is it because of shortages that they have and they're also breaking out to highs eventually you'll see tyson because of the shortages will start to move higher you've got companies like for example rio right rio moving very strong to the upside this is a a, a mining company a minerals company and so when you have all these asset prices that go up it just causes you to pay more now many people are going to re or many people are going to realize the, the the fulfillment of what the apostle paul said when the apostle paul said he who does not work does not eat and many are going to experience this as a whole as a nation where the amount of stuff that we're able to import people are eventually just going to be like you know what uh we're not gonna we need to feed our own people and um, we're already seeing that we're already seeing places that are like we need to feed our own people. We had a bad harvest. And you're seeing this in play in Hispanic countries. You're already seeing this in Hispanic countries. Where they're, and same thing in India. India was a big exporter um, of, the, of the jab. And then they were like, we're not exporting anymore. There was a lot of medications, especially during 2020, where we were the hospital was short on narcotics. A lot of, there were a lot of things that were used, either paralytics to paralyze patients um, when they get intubated, or narcotics. They were just running short, which is why there was a lot of times where they were just like picking who they would intubate and who they wouldn't based off of who they thought they would survive. And it's just because they just didn't have the supplies. And so the fulfillment of what the Apostle Paul said is going to happen in America because people just don't want to work because the government is in essence incentivizing them to stay home and to make more money off of unemployment. And people were saying, you know, we need to stop. I think there was a chief um, commerce office, uh, official who is telling them like, you need to you need to stop with these unemployment like people can't find labor i, I had posted uh, another video i think it was like two or three videos ago where they were saying here in manhattan that businesses are basically begging for uh, for labor they can't find people willing to work i was talking to the guy when i came home this morning when i came home this morning and i went to like the little, one of the, you know, the guys that have the little stands that sell breakfast food and i was like hey how's business going he's like yeah it's doing good he's like but i can't find anybody wants to work he's like i'm short he's like because he's got a couple of carts and he's like i can't find anybody that's willing to work he's like i'm short like four or five guys and so 
the little guy, you know, those guys are the ones that get uh, they get shortchanged. So what happens is everybody just ends up buying from places like like Amazon, right? And so you you in essence you're feeding the top, right? You just you just the government gives you money and then you give that money right back to the top. And eventually, what it just ends up in is just a form of slavery that many people aren't going to be ready for. For what comes next, and this is why I said this is what the the, the constant push, the constant push for. You know, there's so many. Uh, videos of propaganda you know, take take the poke get the poke free, you know free beer uh win a, win a, win a free tesla uh, we'll give you you know hundred dollar coupon or we'll, or we'll give you a hundred bucks right there was another state offering literally just offering cash they were like we'll give you money what's it going to take for you to take this and it's because they're trying to get people ready for the next step that's all that this is under the guise of yeah we're going to get back open but then you look outside and you, at least here you start to see more people not wearing, not not utilizing face coverings. I mean, you've got places like in Maryland and uh, Florida, Texas, where they're literally been wide open from almost the beginning, and the narrative. And they're just like they just keep they keep trying to push people in this direction. Right? This is the this is the goal. And I've said this numerous, but the goal is for you to, for you to get the poke, because if they can get you mentally to lose bodily autonomy of what you're what you're willing willfully allowing to come into your body and they can basically get you to do anything if i can get you and i'm like here i'm like i'm like take this you need it and you're like no i don't, I don't want it i'm fine and i'm like no no you need to take it you need to take it and and, and you, you refuse and i was like well what what, what will it take yeah hey, i'll give you 10 bucks will you take it for 10 bucks will you take it for 15 how about 20 right i'll throw in whatever you want what's it going to take for you to take this and at some point, people are going to be like, why are you pressing me so hard to take this? And it's just because it's, it's as these people talk about, it's transitory. It's transitory to get you ready for what's next, what comes after. And like I've said, this is just basically a scene and a play of what we're watching. And so this is just act two. And so they're trying to prepare people for act three as quickly as possible. In other places where they're utilizing much more force, like for example, in Canada, or in places like uh, in New Zealand, they're basically forcing people. You see what's going on in Colombia. And so where these other places where people don't have access to weapons, they don't have access to the, to, uh, to the rights that we have here, or at least currently on paper, I should say, what people have access to. And of course, many Americans, America has more guns. I've talked about that. America has more guns than about 45% of the entire globe. And so you can't just roll in and use force because eventually you'll get enough people that will just rise up and just realize that we're not going to put up with this. And so it becomes a psychological battle. In other areas, the government can just outright be totalitarian because there's no resistance. There's no, there's no ability for the people to resist. You've got people that Myanmar are literally throwing rocks and sticks at people shooting them in the street, but yet they're still fighting for their freedom. But yet here in America, people are just basically waiting for their next stimmy check. And when, when it all goes down, when it all goes out, once they realize they're going to go one route or another, which is why you even see them now getting, they're getting people ready. You hear the government and all these different businesses talking about segregation, right? And so it's just to get you mentally ready for the next narrative. If they can't get all these people to take it, well, then we're just going to start slowly introducing segregation. And it's just, 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 just to get people ready for what happens next which is well we need to segregate these people you know at the baseball field and then we need to segregate them in the job and then we need to segregate them from society and then maybe we should remove these people from society right and if people don't wake up to what's happening the results will be very devastating for many americans because eventually they do come for you even though you might think oh it's not gonna be me i'm doing my best to comply etc eventually they come for you and Americans like just sitting at home, like, when's my next stimmy check coming? 